So what happened? You're gonna dance for her. What? For who? The dean of dance right now. I'm not ready. I haven't prepared anything. This is your turn now. You hear me? Take it. That was one of my all-time favorite scenes from any television series. That's a clip from the groundbreaking and Emmy-winning series Pose with a legendary cast including Billy Porter, MJ Rodriguez, and a breakout performance by Ryan Jamal Swain. The acclaimed actor and dancer is currently starring in one and two at DC's Mosaic Theater. But before the big premiere, he's live with us. Good morning, Ryan. It's so good to see you. I'm a huge fan of your work. Uh, thank you so much. I'm a huge fan of yours as well. I've seen you when I tapped into D.C. And when I come into D.C., I always watch you in the morning. So thank you for having me tonight. Today. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, like and like, you're representing on Fox 5. <laughs> and you're also a Howard University alum. So H.U.? You know? All right, you know now we saying. can get the party right. started right. <laughs> so uh -huh. let's begin, though, about your show, uh, One and Two, what it is and why you decided to be a part of it. Yeah, so it is, in all the work that I do, I'm always connected to things that have a pulse of being on the front lines of social change. And this particular thing is no different. You know, you have these three queer men who have three queer actors, um, local actors, Justin Weeks and Michael Kevin Darnall. And the key thing about this is that Donnie Love wrote a piece about the resilience of the LGBTQIA plus community, right? Especially black and brown folks, what we have to do to make community in spite of fear, in spite of things that are tapping into our humanity. And the key thing about this, which is finds it very unique, is the fact that each night the audience gets to vote who plays which character each night. And so you will get to see three different iterations of this story. Um, of this one protagonist who goes through this moment of being diagnosed with um, HIV. Um, and you get to see kind of like vignettes of his life and his process through that. But more than anything, I think, just like Pose, you take a very specific story and you illuminate a universal truth, which for me is about resilience, it's about love, it's about community, and it's about joy um, in spite of fear. And I think that for black and brown people specifically, we know that oftentimes too well that sometimes our truth doesn't warrant our safety. Mm -hmm. But I think that another thing is, which is very valuable to me, is that your trauma isn't your responsibility, but your healing is. And this piece is really cognizant in that. So please, DC, come out and see we're working really, really hard. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So for you as an actor then, uh, Ryan, knowing that each night can change your, your character, mm -hmm. so your storyline, the, the emotions, everything, how do you prepare for that as opposed to preparing for one character? Well, you know, this process has been unique because usually when you go into a process, either TV, stage, or film, you have your responsibility for one role, you know, one role or one character or one track. And our director, our fearless director, Raymond O'Callwell, has conditioned us and kind of like set up the um, rehearsal room to be a space of us being able to shop and more for steel and look at how you know, Justin would do it or how Michael would do it, but also understanding that a part of this aspect, you know, we all are three queer men coming to this from different angles of life, right? So there's a sliver of our truth, our uniqueness that is put into these things, but also having to share and collaborate with them in the room. You know, oftentimes in rehearsal, we would go from, all right, we'll set the scene with these particular people playing these roles, then immediately after that, we would switch it. Yeah. You know, before you get too comfortable, you know, thinking that you're doing this only, you have to keep your head on a swivel and be like, okay, but now I have to keep my, my physical body agile. This person talks different than this person. This person walks a little bit different than this person. So we give ourselves guideline and guideposts, but then inside of the structure, we find the freedom. And I think that that is really fascinating for any actor or any artist, you know, finding the beauty in structure and freedom in structure. And I think that you're really gonna get a, a, a beautiful and brilliant performance. We are working, I cannot stress enough. <laughs> we are working really hard on this. I'm not in the studio today because we're in tech rehearsal right now, but um, 
yeah, but please come out and tap yeah. in. And I love, love too that you switch characters because that's a universal thing within itself. We all exactly. have a, a little bit of each other in us all, and that's what brings yeah. us together. It's universal. I have one quick request, though. We're out of time, but I really hope at some point you can come on Lion Lunch Hour when you're back in town and, and guest host with us. Oh, I would love that. Oh, we have to put that in. We have to put that in. We have to yes. put that in. I would love to. I would okay, love to. I would love to. We will make it happen. I, I know that our viewers love you. Of course, Howard, we're so supportive of you. And that scene from Pose, I have to tell you, that and the one um, with Billy Porter's character singing Home, those are my two favorite. <laughs> but yours was a real tearjerker. So you're incredibly talented, and we're super, super <laughs> proud of you. Thank you very much. Thank all you right. all. Thank you. Absolutely, Ryan. And you got to check them out uh, in one and two. It's at the Mosaic Theater Company. It starts playing on June 1st through the 25th. And you can find tickets at mosaictheater.org. And he said he's going to come on Lion